Hello, my name is Simone, and I will be discussing the gaps in knowledge and further research on suicide. Research fails to acknowledge the link between risk factors associated with suicide, such as mental illness, stress, and having the lethal means to commit suicide, and the common warning signs such as talking about or threatening suicide, noticeable substance abuse, and withdrawing from society. Many people possess certain risk factors, such as mental illness and stress, but do not go on to attempt suicide. So what are the overlying factors that push people over the threshold to commit suicide? Another concept of suicide that has often failed to be addressed in research is the means in which people are acting upon it. As you can see in the graph below, more than 60% of the individuals who committed suicide in Montana did so with the use of a gun. Suicide by gun is not the most commonly attempted method, but it is the most lethal. The most commonly attempted method of suicide is drug overdose, which only has a 3% success rate, while gunshot infliction has an 85% success rate. If people were more aware of gun statistics, hopefully they would be more likely to securely lock up their guns, especially in homes with teenagers and those expressing suicidal warning signs. More epidemiological research needs to focus on the ability to further pinpoint warning signs and overlying risk factors of those who are most likely to act on their suicidal ideations. Another important means to preventing suicide is finding ways to ensure equal and adequate access to well-trained healthcare providers who can prevent those at risk from committing suicide and treat those who had a failed suicide attempt from trying again. There are issues related to the vulnerability and unpredictability of youth when it comes to research on suicide. If epidemiologists and researchers were able to create more programs emphasizing prevention and predictability of suicide among youth, there would be greater retention of the youths most at risk. Lastly, more research needs to be invested in reducing access to the lethal means to commit suicide. This is a very touchy subject since gun control is a prevalent topic in current news. With the $100 million prize, we can combat various issues surrounding suicide. With the money, we can develop more substance abuse and mental health clinics in Montana, as many people who commit suicide are afflicted with these diseases. Also, we can educate and train the youth and health care providers within Montana to recognize, report, and act upon individuals expressing suicidal warning signs as well as campaign to end the stigma surrounding suicide and implement more complex follow-up routines and resources for individuals who have attempted and survived suicide to reduce further attempts.